Hello and welcome to Automated Marketer. I'm Andy Klebner and in this video, I'm gonna be teaching dentists 10 powerful chat GPT prompts that a dental office can use in their marketing. Whether you're a new dental practice or you're looking to grow your existing patient base, these prompts are sure to help you reach your marketing goals. For our first group of fonts, we're gonna be talking about how to craft emails with ChatGPT. The first one that I wrote out here is write a short dentist intro email for Boca Raton, Florida. Now this could be any town that you're in. It could be Dallas, Texas. It could be Chicago. It could be San Francisco. It really doesn't matter. All you gotta do is put in that you're looking for an intro email for the town that you're in. And then it'll create something like the one you see here, which is we are thrilled to introduce ourselves as a premier dental practice located in the heart of Boca Raton, Florida. And then it'll go through and explain the whole thing that you use the latest technologies and techniques. And then you say that you understand visiting the dentist can be stressful for some people and that you prioritize the patient's comfort. This is a great letter to send us something as an intro email. And then all you gotta do is take this and then edit it yourself make it your own thing so that way it sounds a little bit more natural. Our next prompt in that category is write an email on the need to protect your teeth with regular cleanings. So the best thing that you can do for your office is do nurture emails. Nurture emails are sending emails out regularly so that you stay on the top of mind for all of your patients and possible new patients. So this is a great kind of email about how to protect your teeth with regular cleanings and it writes it all out for you. Again, you would go through it and you would add all of your own flair to it and make it your own. It even mentions some things that are happening lately in the news. So this is a great way to create emails for your patients. Our number two use is how to write a text message that you could send to a prospective dental patient that has not texted you back. Now here's the thing. Oftentimes we need to text something and we have no idea what to write and we want to make sure that we get the best information out there. So if you just ask ChatGPT a question, you're going to have the response that you can just copy and paste right into your SMS editor. Hi, hope this message finds you well. Just want to follow up with you regarding your interest in scheduling a dental appointment. I want to make sure you have all the information you need and answer any questions that you may have. Let me know if there's anything I can assist you with. I look forward to hearing back from you soon. Our third use is to write a blog post. Now, blog posts are something that you should be doing very regularly for your website. It's also gonna help with your marketing and your SEO. In this case, I asked it to write a blog post on why a person should get regular dental checkups. And it wrote it out right there. And it even has five different points and a conclusion. This is great to put on a website, but then again, you're also gonna wanna go through and make it your own. You're gonna read through this and you're gonna add the information that's gonna make it completely something that you came up with. For another blog post example, I put in, write a blog post explaining the impact of regular flossing in overall dental care. And it gives us, again, points for the blog post. And all we gotta do is add in our own flair to make it our own. Our next use is to have web pages written out by ChatGPT. In this example, I asked it to write a web page about dental bridges, and it made a pretty long page here. If you look through, it goes over what are dental bridges, the benefits of them, how are dental bridges fitted, aftercare for dental bridges, and then it asks, of course, to have you contact the office to book your appointment. So this is ready to go and very, very simple to use. For the next example in website content, I went with something a little bit different. I asked it to rewrite a web page content. I found a website with a basic description of what veneers were, and then I said, just rewrite this for me. And then after it rewrote it for me, I said, you know what, this might not be enough. So I asked it to make it more witty and add some comedy. And as you can see, it did it right here. It even says, our dentists are like wizards when it comes to veneers. This way it's more witty and a little bit more fun. Our fifth use is to create a script for a YouTube video for a smile makeover. Now, every dental office should be using YouTube to help them market. This makes you look like an authority in your space. And as you can see, it wrote out an intro. It has predefined segments. What is a smile makeover? Who can benefit from a smile makeover? What are the benefits of a smile makeover? With bullet points and so forth. It even has an outro at the end. For number six, we decided let's let the back office also have some fun. So this prompt says, 
write an email a dental office would send to a prospective new dental hygienist hire. And it starts off with the subject, invitation to join our dental team, and it then says, we hope this email finds you well. We are reaching out to extend an invitation to you to join our dental team. And it goes through everything about them. All you gotta do is add your own sauce to it to make it your own. For our next example, we asked it to write a script a dental office can use to call a patient who has dental insurance that is expiring. And what's great is it gave us some different scenarios and it goes right from the receptionist to the patient, back to the receptionist and so forth down the list, giving examples of what should be said and then also booking an appointment. So this is a really cool way in case you just don't know what to say when you know you gotta make phone calls out to your patients. In number eight, we asked it to write a Facebook ad copy that a dental office who has easy payment plans would like to use in one of their campaigns. A lot of dentists use Facebook in order to get new patients. So this is the perfect example of what they should do. And it spit it out pretty easily. It wrote out exactly what it would say. But then you gotta think to yourself, what kind of artwork would go along with this? What kind of images? So we asked it also to create a list of visuals for the ad copy that's above just by writing this statement out here. And we got a list of some pretty good ones, like a photo of a smiling patient showing off their newly improved smile after dental work, a close-up of a dental instrument with a focus on the flexible payment plan options available, and so forth down the list. This is really cool because sometimes you need to get an ad out there, but you can't decide what to do. All you gotta do is ask ChatGPT. Marketing doesn't just happen on the internet. It also happens in person at networking meetings. So for number nine, we said write a script that a dentist would use at their BNI meeting. And here we go, we have it where they introduce themselves, they talk about their office, they talk about all their different services, and if you can get this in in 30 seconds, you might just have the right script for that networking meeting. So this one is actually probably my favorite. It's number 10. Sometimes you don't know what to do. So I asked ChatGPT to describe 25 different ideas that a dental office could use for their marketing and it spit it right out all the way from social media advertising to email marketing referral programs dental insurance partnerships patient appreciation events community charity work billboard advertising video testimonials google adwords door-to-door -door, and even health fairs so as you can see if you have no ideas just ask chat gpt and it'll tell you what to do well, that's a wrap. I hope you found these 10 uses and prompts helpful and are ready to take your dentist game to the next level with the power of ChatGPT. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Automate Marketer for more tips and tricks. See you in the next video.